All right, what's up, everybody? I got a video for you here today, uh, post-commentary gameplay. But I'm actually going to be just, like, skipping through it. Because today, what I just want to talk about is uh, a strategy that I wouldn't say I necessarily invented, but it has my own little spice to it, and I call it playing like a schizo. You are a schizophrenic now. You hear voices and hunters everywhere. You're going to assume every... Like, you're going to assume that there's someone always behind you in some bush or something. Now, what am I talking about? Well, first, I'm going to tell you how I developed this strategy. And it was from watching this player named Iron in Warzone. Iron is someone who tunnels two things. A win and your positioning. That's all he does. He focuses on wins and positions... He doesn't really give a fuck about kills or anything else. So that's what, that's kind of like what schizo gameplay is. And it's kind of based off this player named Iron from Warzone. Anybody who watches his shit knows what the fuck I'm talking about. This guy is like, he is so primarily focused on positioning and absolutely making sure he'll never get backstabbed or shot from someone he didn't expect, get out ratted. It's not possible. So I'm going to show you how to uh, employ that in Hunt Showdown. And there's two two things, you there's like two major parts of it that I'm going to cover in this video. I can't teach you positioning and awareness just in one video how to do it. But there's just two major parts. So I'm going to actually rewind this shit to sh just pause and talk about something. Whoops, hold up. This is a major part. So... In order to focus on your positioning, in order to make sure you don't get shot in the back at all, say you spawn here, what, there's one major thing to know, okay? When you get clues in Hunt Showdown, everybody's map looks the same. So I got this first clue, Wolf at Arsenal, all these areas are grayed out. It doesn't matter where other people spawned, when they get their first clue, no matter where it's at, Windy Run, Salter's Pork, Blank Binary doesn't matter their map will look exactly like this the only time it doesn't is if uh, they spawn on the boss and they get the clue because then it'll just instantly show them that the boss is in their compound so basically everybody's map is going to look like this so what can you assume if players spawned at Bradley Craven Brickworks they got their first clue they're most likely going to go to the fort because it's the closest next area that has a clue for them to be able to get same thing with Ironworks. They can go to Maw Battery or they can go to the Fort. So what does that mean? If I spawned at Wolf Fed Arsenal, I am in the very bottom corner of the map. There is, It's very unlikely that people will come to Wolf Fed Arsenal. Now you got to keep in mind, if these areas weren't grayed out and someone spawned at Bradley, someone spawned at Iron, these people could very well come and check out Wolf Fed. But because the map looks like this, and this will look like this for everyone, no one's going to be coming to Wolf's Head unless they're simply crazy. Um, but like I said, you know, the maps can look different. The When people get clues, it can look different. You know, sometimes if the boss was like down here at Wolf's Head or something, you know, these top areas would be grayed out. I don't think I have to explain that. I mean, I don't even know why I'm going over it. So basically, what do you do in this situation to focus on your positioning? Well... If you hug the wall over here, there's absolutely no way you get backstabbed. Even if someone is crazy enough to come to Wolfhead for some reason, if you come out here and you start hugging the outskirts of the map, there's like zero chance you're going to get backstabbed unless someone it just decides to do the same thing. But they either have to come from Bradley or they have to already be at Ironworks. But no one is usually that crazy to just simply come out here and just hug the edge of the map. So basically... And when you do hug the edge of the map, you clear off, like, a whole s side view. Like, say, like, if you're standing, like, right here, you have to look 360 around you. If you're at Sweet Ball, you have to look 360 around you. People could come from any direction. If you hit, if you hit the side of the map, it, now you only have to check 270 around you. No one's going to come from your left side. You know what I mean? So, since I spawned at Wolf's Head... And the boss is somewhere up here. If I hug the edge of the map as I move up, then there is zero chance for me to get backstabbed. 
and I can move forward to the next areas as safely as possible while obviously checking my surroundings as I'm doing it. And that's how you play like a schizo. That's step one. It's just, you know, you can, you can take it a step farther. I'm not this schizophrenic, but you can even check all like the bushes and corners and buildings out here. Like I could easily check this building on my left right now, but like that's a little too crazy. Like I said, if they're at Ironworks, they're going up or they're going to Fort. If they're at uh, Bradley, then they're going to Fort. It, it just makes zero sense for people to be out here, so I highly doubt it the fact that anyone could be out here. You know what I mean? So, that that's step one to playing like a schizo. If you, and I know people might say, this is boring, this is ratty, this is really gay. Well, I'm, a, I, I'm gonna, I have to say this. You might think this is boring, ratty, and gay. But you will win more. You will get more bounties. And believe it or not, you might even get more kills. This game right here, I played like a schizo. I got six kills from playing like this. Six kills from playing like this schizo. And I'm about to show you how it's done. Um, one more thing to cover, though. Uh, hold up. I need to, I need to find, a, find a time where I look at the map. Yeah, okay, okay, right here. Ooh, hold up. Come on. Get to that point again. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so say the boss would spawn here, for instance. You spawn down here. You know, you're right here and say someone starts banishing. You can pretty much... you. It's safe to assume that, you know, since I already ran past Ironworks, no one's going to come from down here up and then go to Sweet Ball. But people could come from, like, Goddard, Docks, and Maw Battery and go to Sweet Ball. Or blank binary, go to sweet ball. So in order to make sure you won't get backstabbed, if it's like in the middle somewhere, is, you know, be way out here and then head to sweet ball. Anyone who is here is going to beat you there. If they're up here, then you pretty much just have to be, like, aware of that. And you can even come up here and, like, you know check this area first and then head to sweet ball if you do something like that no one will be behind you that's pure schizo but you don't have to be that schizo anyways that's step one that's step one in a nutshell i'm gonna go ahead and skip through to step two you know the boss ended up being at maw battery though i approached in a schizo way as i got up here you know, I checked my uh, peripherals, I got rid of sound traps, I ducked and dodged crows, ducks. You know, and since the boss was at Maw, people could come from Goddard. So I kind of like sit out here to make sure I don't get sandwiched. But I'm about to get to step two, and step two is pretty important. But I kind of want to just show you guys these kills I got as I approached Maw. I'm checking all these positions. I'm not pushing in yet because I'm worried someone's going to come from Goddard. I slowly approach pretty much. At people all positions, you know. True schizo gameplay. You got to make sure no one's behind you. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. I hear all the gunshots on the other side, but I'm still playing very cautiously. Keep rotating around, still worried about that Goddard flank, you know, schizo. Alright, I guess I kind of just look around. Oh yeah, I fall back here because, like, I'm worried people will start wrapping around the building. And, you know, I've pretty much secured my back. Like, no one's going to come from behind me. I'm not going to get backstabbed. Alright, I think this is where I get my first kill. I just start peeking out the window. Can't really see much, but... I 
start hearing shit on the roof. Still get the kill. The Gant Carbine coming in clutch. Alright. Boom. I just wanted to showcase those kills. I kind of let the let them get up, I back up, because, you know, focus on position. I felt like people could rotate around, oh, I forgot about this. So this team, I think this might have been, like, the team of the, that was on the roof right there. That was a headshot, by the way, so that guy got fucking hit in the head. But they, uh, that's kind of why I backed up. Because I felt like I was in between the bounty team and that team that was outside. So I wanted to back up, make sure I could, you know, be safe. But this is step two to playing like a schizo. And it's when you're in a fucked up position, it's all about positioning, right? So when you have to approach a compound like that, and, you know, you're just out in the open... People could always rotate around or find a way to come around you. Now you have to do, like, check your views. You have to check 360 around you. And if you're solo duo, people could peek you from two different sides. That's not where you want to be. So part two to playing like a schizo is securing a position, more times than not, in a building where, one, there's only a couple entrances... So you can't get, like, you don't have to keep track of multiple entrances. But two, somewhere where uh, you can try to peek people one-on-one -on -one instead of having to, you know, peek two different players at once. Like, it, it doesn't matter how... Oh, and this is awesome. I found a concertina mine up here. I end up blocking the only entrance up here. So now I'm just free to peek whenever I want and peek only one person at a time. And that's the goal. Because if you're uh, in a position where someone could wrap around to your right, someone could wrap around to your left, you can get shot from two different angles. But as I'm up here, crouching right where I'm sitting, there's no way for me to die at all. I am completely safe here. There's a team focusing me on the outside and I can just peek these guys one by one that dude's out there if his teammate was by him it wouldn't matter because like you know I can hug the wall and allow his teammate not to see me as I can see him but I basically the, the core focus here is that I position myself somewhere where there's only one entrance into this building so I am completely safe here even if they are all around me even if they are all around me, they can't get me if I just sit in the middle of this building. So yeah, I'm safe, I'm free to peek people one by one up here. I secured a good position, I take my fucking time to peek these guys, but I don't want to um, bore you guys with the long wait. So I'm going to just go ahead and skip to the kills. This guy's out here alone taking his shots at me. Someone could shoot me from the right right now, but... I already checked the bounty is still in their original position. They're not coming out here. So I'm just free to peek. One by one against all of these guys. That's a headshot. I found a sentinel up here. 600 muzzle velocity. You can practically just click on the head with iron sights. And that was that guy's teammate. That guy's teammate was trying to get a different angle on me. But he didn't, he wasn't aware that I saw him. And I did. So this guy's gonna go for his teammate, clearly. Sentinel, 600 muzzle velocity. I'm gonna just click on his head. I don't even worry about muzzle velocity or anything. And that's another kill right there. So yeah, calls playing like a schizo boring, but look at what I'm doing. I'm shredding people. Getting kills. Now the bounty bounty team wants to see what's up. Now that's a fucking cheeky peek. This guy was not expecting that at all. And, but sad to say, the last dude was taking 20 years to do anything. He didn't pick up his teammate because he didn't have Necromancer. He took forever to do anything. He kept re me from different positions. 
props to him, though. He played correctly. If you re-peak from the same positions, you're more than likely going to die. But this guy's teammate didn't, and he killed me. I didn't think to leave the fucking tower, even though I knew we were the last two left. But what happens, happens. But yeah, that's schizo gameplay, pretty much. This isn't 100% bulletproof, but, uh... Yeah, you will win more. You will get more bounties. You might even get more kills, it's possible, but... Yeah, it's just pure positioning and strategy. Anyways, thanks for listening, and yeah, that'll be it. I die.